In this video, we will calculate the molar solubility of calcium fluoride. Calcium fluoride is what is known as a sparingly soluble solid. And so it's not 100% precipitate. It's a solid that can go back into its component ions, calcium ion and fluoride ion. So this is a KSP problem. And table 16.2 tells us the KSP for calcium fluoride is 4.0 times 10 to the minus 11. A very, very small number, but enough such that some of the reaction will go to the right-hand side of this chemical equation, yielding calcium ion and fluoride ion. So as always with KSP, we're dealing with a sparingly soluble solid. As stated before, this is a precipitate or a solid that is not at 100% solid. It can establish an equilibrium. So the solid is establishing an equilibrium with its ions that are going to be in solution. So the first thing we have to do is write our KSP equation. This is fundamental and the most important part in solving these equations properly. So calcium fluoride is in an equilibrium, that back and forth arrow, with its ions, the calcium ion in solution and the fluoride ion in solution. Don't forget to balance this equation. A lot of students do not balance. So we got fluoride at two, uh, excuse me, fluorine at two. Also the charges are balanced, right? Plus two and minus two on the product side equals zero. And there are no charges in the reactant side, so that is zero. So this is a equilibrium value or an equilibrium constant uh, called KSP. It's the same uh, capital K equilibrium constant that we've seen before. And we got that value from the book of 4.0 times 10 to the minus 11. Let's write our KSP expression here. By the way, the 4.0 times 10 to the minus 11 tells us the reaction is predominantly to the left. Very, very little of it is going to go to calcium ion and the fluoride ion but enough to really calculate a solubility. We would expect the solubility to be small. The majority of this reaction is to the uh, left-hand side towards the solid side. So writing our KSP, we have calcium ion times the fluoride ion, its concentration. Don't forget to square the fluoride ion because we have two moles of F minus. So in the law of mass action, that becomes an exponent products over reactants raised to the stoichiometric coefficient. So the stoichiometric coefficient for the fluoride ion is two. And <clears throat> let's just rewrite this um, equilibrium again. Uh, this time we're gonna do our ice table. Our ice table is a little bit different. The ice table, instead of X, we're gonna use S for solubility and two S for the fluoride ion, its solubility. The two S comes from the fact that we have two moles of the fluoride ion. So let's plug that in to our KSP expression. Uh, it's gonna be two S squared for the fluoride ion, correct? While well, it's just going to be plain old S for uh, calcium ion. So the two and the two uh, and the two there um, are uh, the two exponent, the square comes from the law of mass action. So all of these little uh, nuances need to be followed when solving this problem in determining molar solubility. So S times 2S whole squared, and 2S whole squared is gonna be 4S squared. KSP here's 4.0 times 10 to the minus 11, and this will be 4S cubed. Um, so we have 4S squared times S would actually be 4S cubed. All right, now a situation, a situation emerges where we have to solve for solubility S. Uh, units are going to be moles over a liter. So we take the cube root of 4.0 times 10 to the minus 11 divided by 4. That isolates S and S alone. So the cube root, um, another way to do this if you have a calculator um, that uh, you don't know how to do the cube root or the fourth root is just do that fraction and uh, raise it to the one-third power. So the cube root is just raising it to the one-third power. Just like a uh, fourth root is raising it to the one-fourth power, a square root is raising it to the one-half power. So on my calculator here, we have that it's going to be the symbol that's above the caret sign. Either way, you can do it. Raise it to the one-third power, take the cube root. The answer here is 0.00030215, so 2.15 times 10 to the minus 4. So we can look at that uh, little symbol there, the 3. 
and uh, we're going to take the square root of that number here, 4 times 10 to the minus 11 divided by 4. We should get the same answer, and we do 0. 0.000215. So you can raise it to the one-third power or use that button on your calculator to get the cube root. So the solubility S in this problem is going to be 0. 0.000215. Solubility of calcium ion is that. The solubility of the fluoride ion that goes in water is going to be two times that. So that's going to be uh, 0. 0.000430. And don't forget the units of molar. Okay, don't, for, um, don't forget we have to multiply for fluoride ion S by 2 because there's 2 moles of F minus that is produced.